Hi, this is Jonathan Grossman from What's the Issue? Hope you guys are doing well. I know you're thinking, what the hell are you talking about, John? Of course we're not doing well. It's the middle of June and we're trying to study for the bar exam. So I just want to take a minute or two, give you some basic study tips, how to kind of get a little more control over your schedule. So going into next month, you have maybe a little more focus and a little more discipline with what you're studying. Because everybody I know is a little bit overwhelmed, either with the questions themselves, how many, etc. but more importantly, the material, going through the schedule, how many hours a day, etc. So just kind of keep in mind a couple of tips, especially if you're doing both parts of a bar exam, whatever state you're in. If you're doing the state stuff and you're trying to handle MBE, I really want you to focus for the next couple of weeks on just trying to get as good of a handle as you can on the MBE material and any essays that you're doing that cover an MBE topic. Most people will tell me that they're getting so overwhelmed between doing their state portion and doing the MBE stuff at the same time, especially when the state stuff does some certain distinction lectures and you barely had time to know what criminal law is or civil procedure and now they're also doing the state stuff. So if that happens to you, for the next couple of weeks until you're going to take your MBE midterm or you just want to feel that control again and not being so overwhelmed and kind of spread too thin. Get the focus on the MBE material first. Then as far as any state portion is concerned, since you already know, hopefully, tort, contract, property, crim law or procedure or con law if your jurisdiction is testing that on an essay as well, get a handle on that material first. If you're watching a lecture for any kind of the state portion, watch it, take the notes, make sure the notes look nice and pretty and organized so when you come back to it in a couple of weeks, then you can hit the ground running and review and be ready to go. And then you're just really filling in the blanks with the state distinctions. My feeling is you can't know distinctions if you're still overwhelmed with trying to know the MBE material. So for now, get the prioritizing of getting MBE questions and material down first. Build some momentum with your essay writing with any of the same topics that you already know for MBE so that by July 1st or so, you can really hit the ground running and then MBE is going great. You're feeling good about your writing. You're building some momentum and then you're basically just filling in the blanks with some of that state portion. I'm not saying you're not going to do all the work. I'm not saying you're not going to write all the essays. I'm not saying you're still not going to have time to do X number of MBE questions that you want to. But right now it's all about priority and building some momentum. If you're just doing MBE, again, what do I say? Always also be reviewing. Make sure that you're trying to get a handle on what you've already covered by doing review. So again, either one of you guys, if you're doing a state and MBE or you're just doing MBE, everyone's focusing about going fast. How many more subjects do I have to cover? But if you've been reviewing something two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when was the last time you did some questions in that topic? When was the last time you reviewed the black letter law? Now you're yelling back at the camera, I haven't had time to do that, John. That's why I'm having this little message for you. Now is the time to get a little bit of control if you review tort or crim law a couple of weeks ago and now you're doing con law contracts, this is the time for the next few weeks to say, wait a minute, how much of that stuff do I remember? So go back, get some fundamentals back as far as the law is concerned, go back and review. So moving forward into next month, you're really focusing more on your practicing questions and your law review is very limited rather than having to go back in the middle of July and do half of the topics all over again. And if you're doing a state portion as well as MBE, once again, that's why I say leave the state stuff for July 1st, take the next couple of weeks, get a handle on what you need to know for the MBE. And this way, if you really know the foundation of law for MBE well, then those state distinctions will seem much more obvious to you and you won't be, quote, confusing the two together. Get control now, MBE and MBE essay material till July 1st. Then you hit the ground running, doing much better on MBE questions, and you fill in the state portion going forward. Okay? Breathe. Everything is cool. Get control. Little prioritizing. And go get them.